Hey everybody, this is Franco, and I have a new toy that I think is pretty cool and I want to show it to you. So, here's the backstory. When I started buying the Centroid CNC control products, I noticed that the wires and cables that they were nice enough to include with the product had these really cool ends crimped on them, and I thought, wow, that's, that's really neat. And the other day, I was at work and I saw one of my coworkers crimping these ends on wires and I was like, man, that's really cool. So between the Centroid Acorn stuff and seeing one of my coworkers using these things at work, I, I decided, you know what, I, I need to try to buy these. Uh, Ask my coworker how much these, these crimping tools cost and he had a very expensive German uh, product that I think the, the crimper was like $100, maybe even more. And, uh, well, I wasn't going to spend $100, but I jumped on eBay and I found some low-cost options and I actually bought this package. It came with the tool and an assortment of 800 connectors and I am pretty sure that this was less than $18. <clears throat> so I immediately proceeded to buy it and here we go. We're going to give it a shot. So let's see here. Never did this before. We're going to do this together. All right, there it is. Uh, I guess that's pretty much the directions. You uh, stick the uh, end in there and you uh, pull the, squeeze the handles and, and you're done. And you can see, actually this is a pretty good picture. This sort of shows the problem that you're solving. With uh, screw down terminal type connectors, what happens if you're using this stranded wire, like this stuff, you can screw it down and you think it's tight, but what happens is it's, it's, it will loosen up on you. Um, the wires will actually sort of smush a little bit and then the connections get loose. So that's why they uh, have these crimp on connectors so you can get really good you know, uh, connections on your screw down terminals. Um, and it looks like it's just that simple. You put it in there and squeeze it. So let's give this a shot. So this is the tool and I'll tell you, it doesn't look bad. There's, you know, noth nothing about this that screams cheap. If you're like me, you've probably bought a lot of inexpensive tools at Home Depot and Harbor Freight. You can usually sniff them out. Um, this one doesn't look too bad. Uh, seems to be of decent quality. The only thing that maybe gives it away is being an inexpensive tool is the, uh, you know, the molded plastic. I can definitely tell it's on the inexpensive side, but there, there's nothing about it that um, is screaming cheap. So, okay. And these are the mold or the uh, connectors. And you get plenty of them. There's your little reordering guide. So let's see here. I'm going to crimp this wire right here, which I don't know, is probably 18 gauge wire with a pretty healthy uh, size jacket on it. So I'm not really sure how much to strip off, but start with about half an inch. And, oh boy, I don't know. Uh, let's see, I'm not sure what size will fit, so I'm just gonna randomly pick one and might be, it might be a bit on the small side. Let's go to yellow. All right, yellow fits really well. And let's try crimping it. Never did this before. So as far as I can tell, you just, you just put it in there like so. And pull the trigger or squeeze the handle. And look at that. Wow. That's pretty nice. Let's see if I can zoom in on this so you can really... There you go. Um, yeah, that is not too shabby. That actually looks pretty good. I like that. 
Very impressed. So there you go. For uh, less than $20, you can crimp wires like a pro. Put these nice ends on your, your cables and your wires. And now when you put them in your, your screw-down terminals, like uh, on your centroid acorn board or your breakout board or really all the electronics in your CNC uh, control box, uh, you can have this really nice end on there. So, all right, well, there isn't much more to say about it other than that. I will uh, put the, uh, a link to the seller's eBay store if you want to buy one of these from the, the seller that I bought it from. Um, I have a feeling that there's probably multiple sellers that are selling this exact same tool. Uh, when you get on eBay, I think you'll probably see that as well. But I will put the link to the, the eBay seller that sold these to me just in case you want to do business with that person. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Have a great day and be safe.